My name's David. I'm here to show you to scare people. So first we're at the dashboard where we can see our last payroll, our total earnings and total deductions, important dates, things to do, and year to date. Next, let's go to settings. Inside here, let's go to company settings and we can see our company details, our company name, contact number, legal entity name, address, zip code, city and state. Now let's go to tax details. Inside here, I can see my federal tax details, such as my federal entity identification number, business type, federal filer type, my federal deposit schedule, and my state tax details. And I can click this checkbox if FUTA tax credit is received. Next, let's go to employees. Inside here, I can see my employee, employee ID, basic salary, next pay date, and status. If I click on the three dots, I can see edit, delete, and terminate. Now let's click the plus sign to add employee. Inside here, I can put in the first name, last name, email address, put in his designation, put in his birth date, put in his joining date, put in his address, put in the employee type. Is he full-time, part-time, casual shift worker, probation, or out work? Put in the basic salary and put the period. Is it per year or per month? Put in any payment details, select any components, put in his social security number, um, federal filing status, is he single or married filed separately, or is he married filing jointly, or is he the head of the household exemption? Dependent claims in dollars, other income, deductions, and extra withholdings. And if 2C is marked in W-4, then click here. And then any state tax details. Once you're done, you click Save. And the employee has been created. You can also drill down into the employee by clicking on their names. And then you can see their gross pay, taxes, deductions, I can see date, pay period, gross pay, taxes, and amount paid, and I can download the salary. Next, let's click on contractors. Inside here, I can add a contractor. I can put in their title, their first name, middle name, last name, display name, social security number, email address, address, city, state, and zip code for individuals. And for businesses, first name, last name, business name, employer identification number, email address, city, state, and zip code. Next, let's go to components. Now we're in the component screen. You can click here to add a component if you haven't created one already, or if you've already created, you can add more additional components here. Then you put in your component name, and then you can put in the type, and is this applicable to all users, and is it active, and then I can save. Next, let's go to pay schedules. Inside here, I can add additional pay schedules, and I can see current ones as well. I can see the pay schedule name, pay period, day of week, day of month, and deadline for pay run. Now I click here, add pay schedule. I can put in the name, pay period is monthly, weekly, or twice per month. Select the working week, pay day, last working day of the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, so I can set that. Also, first pay day and the work period. So for example, first September to 30th and apply. And I can say this is applicable to all users and save. Next, let's go to pay run. Inside pay run, I can see all upcoming and previous, the date, period, employee cost, employer cost, total payroll cost and status. Now let's click add pay run. Inside here, I can select the pay schedule, the pay period, work date, pay day, first pay date, and then I can select the working period. So for example, first September to 30th and apply. And I can say this is applicable to all users or I can select the user directly. For example, George Thomas. And then I can go to process to payroll. Inside here, I can see the employee name, days, loss of pay, additional earnings, any deductions such as federal income tax, social security tax, and Medicare tax. I can also see employer tax like FUTA, social security tax, Medicare tax, and SUTA, and net pay. Then I can click next. I can verify all the information looks correct. Then I can process payroll. A pop-up box opened up and it says to ensure accuracy, please review your payroll numbers and make sure they are 100% correct. Do you wish to continue to process your payroll? So if everything is good, then you say yes. If you want to review again, say not now. So I'm going to click yes. After that, I can view summary here and I can finish here. Let's click finish. And now I can see that my payroll has been processed. If I wish to view a summary, I just click on view summary and I can see the information here. Next, let's go to reports. Inside here, you can see your payroll summary report, your W-4 form for employees, W-2 form, and your W-9 form for contractors. And that was a quick look at Descara People.